Peepshit underscore studio is now live. Streaming The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, Witcher 3 on Ultra HD PC. Again, damn it. What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Realize that monstrosity, as you put it, might be Siri? Yeah, I heard. Mind showing a bit of sympathy? I call him like I see him. That's how I am. Know what? Never mind. Not gonna argue with you. Right, no time to lose. The monstrosity awaits. Lambert. Oh, sorry. The potential Cirilla. 
Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? <laughs> yeah. Old man can't stand it. Savola's Breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamander assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. You gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow, never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. <laughs> that makes sense. Tricks. It's an art. Learned it from this old master down in Zarakania. Yeah. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? Seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it! I moored it right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrive? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Hmm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes.
water hag. Great. Last thing we needed. Time to end this. All right. Cave entrance is just opposite, see it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. Make this boat yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Wanna hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Sheesh, you're pricklier than Yen. Ugh, don't fall in love with me. Let's go. Ah! Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. We'll investigate, just in case. You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn hive, almost always. Hey, little guy. Ah! It's all right, you're safe now. No! No! Help! 
Fine. Consider yourself vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the fog that's to take care of now. You're not gonna let this drop anytime soon. No, I will not. In fact, whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of Rivia was duped like a child. Think we ought to get Dandelion to write a... When someone's life might be threatened, I'd rather be safe than... Of course. The noble white wolf never abandons a man in need. He's more saint. Changing subjects. Did I see right? Was that boy... Yeah, one of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. Foglitz remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I didn't even want to come here. Lambert, enough. Pulverized. Mm hmm. Old spear tips never been kind to guests. Shit, too damn high. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Ready? Oh! You fat fuck! One, two, three. You're no feather either. Come on. Hmm. Wall looks a little shaky. Ard, maybe?
wake my mind spirit, about stomping like that. Relax. I slipped. Oh! What? Something fell in my eye. Bones. Pulverized. Mm-hmm. Old Spear Tip's never been kind to guests. Reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violets? Would have been nice. Ah, so soft and sweet, just sleeping there. Makes you want to make this moment last forever. Probably. Let's get out of here. Wait. That's for Voltaire, you whore son. <laughs> you finished? Let's move.
Oh, good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilfgaardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing monsters. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on. Medallion's humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. See him shit and run as soon as he saw us? Mm-hmm. Never known a troll to do that. Mm -hmm. Which us is to walk no more. The stops? East Mountain, Trolley Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh. Uh, hi! This Troll Mountain. Uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say, thing two do? Thing three do sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? <laughs> mm-hmm. They understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave! Before they stone us to death!
rocks those. Those goes no far more. Which is his understanding? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Charles can know the Witcher see Castle. Rock's not there. Let a rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Throw rock, throw. Witches he strike no back. Just talky talky. Witcher, good? Only you. Witcher is his monster kills trolls monsters. Yes, true is. No face, mate. You go this. You shall back club leave here. You pass. No quiz. We smash. All right. We'll leave our swords here. Pick them up on the way back. We want to know. <sighs> Nick Metal Mouth Thing. You nuts? Shut up and follow my lead. Think you might have missed your calling. Hmm? If I remember Pappy Vesemir's lessons correctly, Witchers. Kill monsters. Your memory's shit. They only kill harmful monsters. They threw stones at us, Geralt. Line about it to Eskel later. Just a few steps more, and we're there. Ooh, that's some serious panting. Out of breath, out of shape. Nah, just a bit hungover. Been hitting the hooch with Eskel again? No. Been hitting it alone. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. But save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. How'd it go? Water, then earth, then air? in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh uh, yeah, used Axie, but I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel. I made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, and then hang himself. Wow. 
truly great story. Isn't it? Real side splitter, I think. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to care more him. Think it's that bad being a Witcher? Guess I could have been someone worse. Just a shame I had no choice. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Know what? Let's get out of here. Don't like what you're hearing, huh? Witchers shouldn't talk like that. Know what else you won't like? After the trial of the medallion, I rode straight home to thank my daddy for everything. Want to hear what I did to him? Lambert, please. Thought we were opening up, having an honest talk. But fine, let's continue pretending everything's just peach. The road beckons, my good man. Need to get our swords. Witcher with no swords like a man without an arm. Sure thing, brother. Which is his sharp back club takes and home goes. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I don't need convincing. Come on, girl, let's go. Let's get back. After you, sir. Must be Eskel's prince. No one else has left the keep recently. Faster.
his horse. What's its name? Scorpion? Beautiful animal. Eskel made camp here. Looks like he planned to stay outside a while. find a sample of its scent. Bits of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, stench. Off to this stake. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. The end's keeping you pretty busy, huh? Hmm. Started shouting out orders with just one foot out of the teleport. I tried to get a word in edgewise, to which she said... One should not interrupt a lady. Exactly. Times like these, I'm glad this ugly mug of mine keeps the women away. Looks aren't everything. Certainly not to all women. You're right. But most like a full purse, too. Don't have much to brag about in that domain, either. Hear that? Incoming. How you like that silver? Overgrown reptiles. Hate it when bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't fly much further.
Not scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a war horse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved his lost knight once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find at home and all that. No kid this time, but his mare had just foaled. Escalin Scorpion, bound by fate. An enchanting tale. Mock me all you want. You're just jealous. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. What's that song? Some old hill folk tune. Perfect for hiking. My mom sang it to me. Landed here. Not very gracefully. Look at the tracks. It broke its wing, I think. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Fled to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. Let's collect this final fluid and get out. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Yen tell you why she wants this? Mean you don't know? And that, uh, doesn't bug you? Of course it does. Don't see us lifting the curse without her, though. We could have gone to Triss for help. Put it to you this way. If Yen can't help Uma, we can always go to Triss. She won't hold it against us. But if we'd done it the other way around... <laughs> There'd be hell to pay. Exactly. Enough of this talk. Let's go. Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the... Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhen wins! Come on, Roach.
slow now. Whoa. Finally. Took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Since you insist? Here. Use it wisely. Look at the fire. Now look here. Pupils functional.
God damn it, you piece of shit! Uh oh. <coughs> Damned crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jest. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First we must finish our preparations. Heard about the bed. Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew, but that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. Yes, I know. You've lost your memory. Whatever. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Splendid. On to more pressing matters. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other... As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular... I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly. Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? No secret at all. Ida Emian. Remember her? How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly. A sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. <sighs> You're a sorceress, friends. The sage and not so sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank All right. How do I find this? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. Signal. Signal's growing stronger. Can't be far now. So, 
Yennefer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. Witchering just never took off. Mm, pulse weak. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get them out. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves. To... Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. <laughs> Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Nothing here. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What Time Meridian bombs. Lambert left them. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my mega... You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I... Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And... Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Cadnell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Cadmill and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech, unfamiliar. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel elen, ked mil foli, gledev don eptenid bondro isne iacus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends. 
of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's triangle, inverted, of course, they are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. Let me guess. You want some. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request. Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it, but do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end, or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. what she was talking about. Siri, of course. Wish everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. Don't really see why I should apologize. I know sorceresses expect me to bow down before them. So you refuse to bow and thumb your nose at them instead? Very mature. Oh, oh, enough. All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert? Prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma. M I said we would help you. That I don't know what you want to do with them. You haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. All right, what did I do this time? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside, without cluing the others into what we're up to. Mm-hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make... Wow. You don't exactly... I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. 
Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards, in an hour. Yen, don't get mad, but... Stop. Suddenly I have an immense desire to drink. So? Head sorceress box your ears again? You could say that. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Where'd you go while you were away, Eskel? Aldersburg. Hunted a higher vampire. Oh ho ho. Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. The specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He get caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been? Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and Plowing, how's Triss? Triss is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. 
I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only... You'll fucking what?! Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because... Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten. And that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Esco got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. How about a round of cards? Why not? Playing for coin, though. Yeah, unless you'd rather play strip quint. Maybe I'd finally come to understand what women see in you. Compare your trouser snakes later. Pouch is on the table. <laughs> What's with him? Don't worry about it. Let's play.
good game, Geralt. Especially that move with the... Esco. He doesn't need any praise, just pour. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kind of... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game, student from Oxenford taught. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing, downs a shot. Then it's the next game. Sounds great. I've never slept with a sucky business. Run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? I think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never... Jumped out a lover's window. That's so. Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. You're a true friend. Right. Man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <laughs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall reach... Get along? In a way. I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. I'm guessing that's quite a list. It is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good man, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time. Wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Eskel. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're... So, watch this about a Samavilla? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own, with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. Will you ever lay off Yen? Yeah, soon as I trust her. You brave a fire for her. Whereas she plays you like a cheap fiddle. Way it's always been. Listen to you two goddamn relationship experts. Neither of you's been with a sorceress. For good reason. 
Fine, leave pretty boy alone before he gets grumpy. Already has that pouty look on his face. I can't. Drink up, girl. To you and Yen. Happily ever after. <sighs> Vodka. Already went to get food. All right. I'll do it. Lambert. Listen, you... You got a problem? Me? What? Well, just seems that way. You know, you're a little like my little brother. Dumb and annoying. Brother. Geralt, damn it, you're gonna make me cr- Damn, broke. Better thing it was empty. Huh. Where's Eskel? Back by now. This is a job for Vezin. No, again, take that hat off. Spilled some wine and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. Eskel, you drunk! Get out here! Eskel! Eskel! Let's go. Let's go. Chop, chop. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, <laughs> hear that? Sounded like panting. I have a wounded wyvern. Damn it. We missed a fight. Aha. Uh -huh. Eskel's close. Hang in there, brother. We're coming. Eskel, you drunk. Get out here. Hey. Look. There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up. <laughs> Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Let me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. <laughs> Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Mm -hmm. Lambert, mm -hmm. you're a genius. Of course I am. So, we inviting the lot. Fuck yeah. All right, how's this work? Well, a twist here, a turn there, and you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. Hey, hang on. When this Ida sees us, we'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. I know. Yennefer's clothes. Let's dress up. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. I don't really like the idea either. Fine. But if this Ida refuses to talk to us, it'll be your fault. Now. I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. K 
10 mil blood dead one. Hocus pocus, I look at that brother's brother. What is this? Who's oh, that? So sorry. We were never here. God! More paper, Excellency! No. Oof. Witches! Witches attacking! <laughs> <laughs> I trust you have an explanation for this. A very good one. Go to bed. Now. See everyone's up and at him. Hmm. And reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Guess your gravestone and hemlock method didn't work. Not entirely, but I did learn something. While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first. But as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemi. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose... I thought we got rid of that table ages ago. Uh, must be 50 years since I last saw a sad album. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potion. Wait. Why couldn't we do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. the proportions. Performed a series of complex calculations, extrapolated some data, ran simulations. Meaning you guessed. Mm. Potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders.
Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. would have sent him into shock, killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. Why'd you keep the table then? Geralt, next potion. to do their work. Might take a day, might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... Yeah! Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags? On it. No, the trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? Of course I have. Thing is, we don't have a choice. Not anymore, we don't. But we rushed it. Should have started by. Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. No, I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Ever tell you about the time Dandelion bought me a sword? Was that in Kerak? Just after we... Decided to take a break, yeah. My swords had... Disappeared, doesn't matter how, and Dandelion insisted I had to be armed, decided he'd buy me a weapon, came to me beaming. The truest Verolidum steel. Good price, too. So good it felt like I was stealing. <laughs> Naturally, Blade shattered first parry I threw. He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery.
never severe. Tony Atad, never severe. Kawal, Arriva, Endil. Let you. Geralt, yellow flask in my satchel. Quiet. Listen. Koal. Koal. Kaniatad. Never severe. Koal, Koal, Kaniatad. Nebid, Gariba, Endio! Geralt, the phylactery, open it! Kanitad, Taran Anadir, she... Sage, we didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen, Arwen, Siren. In Skellige, follow it into the mists. Hurry, hurry. I tried to protect her. But the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle, as yet. It is a matter of time. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Is he gonna make it? I can't. No. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. I've seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through... Do you understand? I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this, Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What's your suggestion? Siri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. 
I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avalok to care for. He's certain to die without gentle, gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guest. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. everybody thank you for coming thanks for tuning in hope you enjoyed have a bite to eat be back maybe later uh play some more with you the the release of the next season on netflix so all right see you later, later.